All right, welcome to the podcast, a new podcast inside the store, Culture Talk. Uh, Mr. Ezekiel Sukwon. Sukumon. Sukumon. Yes. Sorry, I always get it. I yeah. just prefer to call you Suka. Yeah, all right, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah. You are uh, a geologist. Yes. I never knew until today. Yeah, all right. Because you are actually involved in a lot of uh, yeah, things. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's a long time coming. Connect, connected to the street, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we are going to talk about WASH. Like, um, what does it even stand for? It's like an acronym, right? Yeah, it's an acronym. For? Uh, coincidentally, it um, has to do with um, water access. Okay. Sanitation. And then hygiene. Wow. So the water in there is like the washing. Connect, connecting to what people lamely think uh, wash, w- wash has to do with. Um, they like just wash, yes. Most especially when they get to hear water as yeah. part of it. Yeah. But however, it goes beyond just um, water, but access to clean, uh, safe water yeah. that can be used without harming uh, individuals. Does, uh, the water is clean of any contaminant. Mm. Uh, so, and then uh, when you talk about sanitation, you're talking about sanitation that is improved. And sanitation in this case uh, simply means uh, it has to do with uh, access to toilets, okay. clean, improved toilets, mm-hmm. well-maintained and used. And then um, other aspect of the sanitation has to do with uh, waste management. Yeah. Like around uh, homes, communities, where you ensure that these uh, communities are safe. So then the other part of it, which is the hygiene, mm. it seems uh, very simple, easy to mention, but one of the most difficult to go by. Okay. Because it is the... Um, it seems to be the highest level where you have to practice uh, behavioral change. And, you know, changing behaviors uh, are difficult. Exactly. Uh, people get used to old ways, and most especially when they don't get uh, in, uh, face-to-face with dangers associated to their old ways. Yeah. They don't feel there are related dangers uh, around that. So, basically, uh, when you say water, sanitation, mm. and hygiene, yeah. Uh, they they seems to be three components, but funny, they are not. They don't seems to be three different things here, because uh, you having them, mm. you have to have them. They are interdependent. Oh. So one doesn't hang uh, completely without any uh, uh, of the, the two. Other. So the so it's like three components well needed, mm. and they have to be together to. Uh, to have somebody aspire the desired um, access that he wants for wash. Wow, mm. that's quite something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, there's this uh, issue. There was a, a time I was having like a discussion with someone, mm-hmm. and he was we were talking about like drainages and yeah. and how oftentimes you see there's uh, government has con- uh, have constructed roads drainage mm-hmm. then over some time then uh the drainages are filled up maybe with sand mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. garbage mm-hmm. and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then when when the water comes mm-hmm. it becomes a problem yeah like um for people around and sometimes mm-hmm. it even leads to flooding yeah it's government government are they like um or let's say maybe these agencies that are mm-hmm. like uh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. are related to environmental yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Are they not really performing their jobs? Okay. Because I feel like uh, if if government have like make, made provision for the stuff and mm. then over the time there's issues and then nobody is there to check or go around and see these things are actually been like fixed or maintained properly, mm-hmm. it becomes a problem. Then mm. at the end of the day, government has to deal with like flooding issue maybe cholera and mm-hmm. like s- other diseases that are related yeah, to yeah, stuffs yeah. that's do with hygiene yeah 
what do you think is the problem with all of that basically i think um people used to get it wrong in most cases okay uh, because going by the simple definition of the government mm. the government starts from us yeah uh, individuals so uh before one becomes a, a government employee or an administrator mm. he started as a citizen so yeah, that so true. that that we shouldn't leave out so where is the source of our uh, government employees it comes from the communities where we live in yeah so um basically uh, what i'm trying to put across here is that it's a collective responsibility yes Always there is to be. there is no uh, if any fails to do his own part of the uh, function yeah. that comes uh, with a lot of uh, dangers associated to 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 irresponsibility because looking at um when the government is working alone that yeah. means the citizens uh will not be have the adequate information to work with and when the government is effect- effectively trying to push for changes and then the citizens are adamant about it mm. then uh, you won't get to achieve uh what the desired result however it is uh, a function of everyone knowing exactly his own roles and responsibility roles to play yeah roles to play and then not only knowing that but playing your own part effectively mm. and in partnership so that means the government cannot stand alone to say we are rendering services who are the services for mm. for the citizens True. and the citizens cannot fold their arms and just just ac- accuse the government without uh taking part of their own ownership when government makes provision it is expected that you own you sustain because actually resources are scarce you believe me let me that mm. uh we have a lot of things to do but the resources are not there they are limited so and somebody might ask, ask the question uh, nigeria is blessed we have a lot of resources Yeah. Any any resources untapped? <laughs> I don't think you have resources. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not yet. Uh, yeah, it's not it's resourceful. Not, it's not resourceful. <laughs> <laughs> so you might map them, yeah. but unless you get to use them effectively hmm. for your own benefit, it it won't be that you have resources. So a good a great lesson for us is to always uh, work in collaboration in partnership. Uh, the entire communities without um uh, in an inclusive manner I should understand that everybody have to play a role yeah. because if if everybody brings out the trash from his home and pour it at the dra- inside the drainage yeah a time shall come nature doesn't get any resistance most yeah. especially the one that has to do with water it has to seek for its own part and move so where you don't create the right path for it mm. it comes back to your rooms or your homes yeah. and then the danger around that is that mm, where you have infrastructures that are poorly constructed for instance uh soccer ways yeah uh pit toilets mm. and other things like that when they interact with the water level mm. during the rainy season Yeah. the water level often rises so that brings fecal matter and other wastes that normally we've thought of that we've uh, taken them to the right places they will come back to our spaces so this goes along with contaminate water contaminate who uh, are the food we eat and then it gives birth to a lot of issues yeah mm, that 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 goes uh not just only affecting the government and the resources in an emergency situation mm. but it goes beyond that to affect individuals infections leading to uh poverty mm-hmm. and sometimes loss of life and where you for instance uh you know the olympics is ongoing yeah there are some games that you can't see 
uh, I think the Olympic have a way of putting the wall in a, in its own category. Okay. A certain game you will never see a developing country participating. Wow. Most of the games that I, has to do with I, I never well, take, <laughs> take, really take, take, take took note of that. Take a critical look at um at the Olympic games, most especially the numerous uh, slots of opportunities that are there in the water uh, games. games. You you hardly find out you hardly see um developing countries effectively participate and the and developing countries are not clean enough. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the message? No, it's not. It's not the cleanliness. Yes, it's part of it. But however, they are overwhelmed with a lot of issues, issues that this is are no quite, more issues. This is, this is quite alarming. Yeah, they are <laughs> overwhelmed with issues that are no more issues for the developed countries. So, in developed countries, you don't. For instance, uh, we're talking about access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. Mm. At some point, some research researchers have even defined cholera as a poor man infection. Yeah, because we don't hear of that in developed countries. Yes, it it it's, it has happened in some period of time, but they've def, they've effectively managed that. So it's you something know. that we can actually do. Yes, yes, we can do away with it. Yes, when 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 your food when your water doesn't have any contamination of such bacteria that cause uh, uh, cholera, diarrhea, you wouldn't be infected. For instance, looking at malaria, yeah, where there is no mosquitoes, yeah, what uh, what, no what vector will uh, carry uh, transmit malaria? There won't there won't be malaria. So these are there are a lot of issues around water sanitation and hygiene, not just the popular cholera. You know, uh, it helps take care of malaria, typhoid, because in, uh, bacteria on our vegetables and other things that as a result of poor uh, sanitation also leads uh, to typhoid and other uh, infections. So uh, for us as a people, we need to do our own bit mm. and we need to task our government to do their own bit as well. How do we tax the government? Okay. I know of what we can do, mm -hmm. but how do we like get the government to like sometimes they act as if they are not aware? Like, le the government, I mean, here, mm -hmm. like the people in, in, mm -hmm. in positions. Mm -hmm. So, how do we like get, the, get them to initially? I, I talked to you, uh, I was I mentioned uh, the issue that has to do with um scarce resources yeah yeah so a, a sensitive uh, government will prioritize what to do with the resources available yeah, yeah. yeah. so um the idea now is where there is no uh, access to for instance what clean water sanitation and hygiene yeah um it affects education it affects health yeah. It affects the economy. True. It, a it affects sports because uh, if you are not empowered, where well, <laughs> you can play sport. Yeah. And also, it affects even the entertainment yeah. industry because Actually, it literally because affects everything. Yes, because when you have a future generation with low IQ mm. as a result of uh, malnutrition induced by lack of access to clean water mm. you know child development starts from from when the child is conceived yeah that's true it not just uh after he's been delivered you know it's it's a simple uh, concept if you plant a seed in a on a fertile ground yeah make available all the necessary uh, the soil matter is good and all the necessary uh, things are there yeah you know you see that plant it will everything about the plant will be going with its own time yeah yeah and the bumper harvest will be there at the right time yeah. all things being equal yeah 
but where the plant struggles to germinate and then after germinating it now struggles to get some basic nutrients and other things that are associated uh, for for quality uh, growth and other things it affects the entire process of growth so um, we need to understand as a people that uh, uh, there are things that are basic and are necessary mm. yes so that we we don't spend on our little resources on other things that will not affect us uh, better mm. that will not impact on us better and skew our future yeah yeah so uh, to get to for instance um, another way to even ensure that water is available is sustaining our environment but yeah. we are not doing it we're failing all our trees to cook food <laughs> that's, that's another issue <laughs> we're selling they were failing all our trees to cook food and then well, and I, all is there that. no like a uh, regulation for that if you have yeah. to like cut down a tree you're supposed to maybe plant or stuff like that there are regulations uh, i think that's why um agencies like about basepa mm. environmental protection agencies are born out of uh, a global agreement but are people actually uh, adhering to some uh, those regulations? Because I see every day people cutting down <laughs> trees, using it for firewoods and coal, charcoal uh, and stuff like that. Th- to some extent, uh, we have uh, uh, a society that seems not to not to bother. A r- An ignorant b- b- society. Um, some are ignorant. Some are not. Some are just. Uh, some are not aware. Some are aware. Some are not. And some are aware, but they just want a quick result. Uh, we are in a society whereby uh, we don't give uh, priority to innovations anymore. We don't, uh, and then we are not even, we don't give attention to policies. Those are our problems. How do you think we can actually correct? First is that notion. what you're doing now. <laughs> creating a, a a platform for for awareness yes yes and then not just saying it's not my job mm. i think uh, for somebody listening to us now yeah who will be impressed that uh, you're giving a space for that you know uh, we, we 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 can change things yeah. you and i can change things we can talk about these things we can make uh, our uh, those vying for elected positions to see these things as uh, the, the, our priorities. We can decide to educate each one of us, yeah. not to overwhelm those we vote into power with, with issues that are not relevant. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, not the type of situation whereby I come to a legislator or an executive to ask of dragons um, nasan <laughs> all these type of situations you yeah know. these are things that we we shouldn't overwhelm them with but they can it's nice if they get it's very nice if they get overwhelmed with uh with our demands yeah. that can secure our future, can improve our lives, can make us to, to compete with other countries across the globe. So this is basically that. However, where the citizens don't take uh, ownership of their of policies mm. and existing um, um existing uh, framework that is there for them to utilize and make demands. Yeah. It goes a long way in affecting services. For instance, um, for instance, now, if you want to ask for water supply for a community, if you have the opportunity, yeah. how will you ask, ask for it? If I should ask you a question. I, I don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, it is expected that citizens should know that water sanitation and hygiene access 
is a right. Mm. And it's not a right that was uh, introduced at the local level here. It was the United Nations General Assembly in 2010 that approved, that agreed. Mm. And members of the UN signed into it. It was part of the declaration for that year. Okay. That water, sanitation, and hygiene is a right. So, our Nigeria is a signatory to that. So, it's agreed that, that it's our right. <laughs> that it's our right. So, it's not something like a tema kamana. You know, it is supposed to be about Murua mm. because it will help us to because it's it's, it's actually it's not a, a privilege it's, actually it, it's alarming mm. that in 2021 mm. when uh people seeking for political offices come out to campaign mm. and then they are promising this stuff mm. yeah we can't we can't uh take our face away from the reality you understand because um there are things you can you can want to Mm. Or you decide as a politician to say yeah. that this is my approach or this is that. If it connects to the people, we know. If it doesn't have this connection to the people, I think we also know. Because for for somebody um, that is there in the community, he wants to, yes, water, mm. Is the like best foundation? Very, very yes. basic. Because people settle in communities because of even access to water. Water. So you need to have uh, safe and improved water to use. Then you need to have uh, at least a space for education. Yeah. Primarily a space for health, then a space for education. Once you have this first level basic things. You begin to think of how to empower yourself economically. Yeah. Yeah. So, but any any of this, if it's missing, most especially the access to water, sanitation, and hygiene, my brother, <laughs> you find out that in <laughs> it's a prob- every, it's a every time you find out that women, children are spending a lot of time, hours out of 24 hours, seeking, hunting for water. Wow. Mm. This is a very needed conversation. I mm. feel very educated right now. Yeah. <laughs> right now. So mm. uh, I want to thank you for coming on the... And before before we conclude on that, I just want to l- let us understand something. Okay. Yeah. So even there is what is called the Joint Monitoring Program. Okay. That tries to monitor and understand how the entire group is gaining access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. Okay. Yeah. So for 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 water, there is a level that is surface water. Okay. You get your water from surface water. Do you know the risks associated to that? No. What are they? Uh, you get access from where animals take they move into the water drink and leave you come you fetch you go you wash your clothes and so on and that yeah yeah so uh, you must have seen such yeah, communities yeah, in yeah. the past yeah then there is what you call um limited uh, unimproved okay the unimproved now uh, six that's the second level second level that is most critical okay so the unimproved now tells you about yes uh there is a well mm. docked well yeah but it's not improved yeah it's just a well it's just a well then the limited that is the the treated i suppose no uh yeah it's 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 like okay let's say you have a borehole Okay. Yeah, you drilled down mm. to the reservoir right down. Yeah. And then the water is extracted using a certain technology. Yes. And the water has been tested. And it's okay. As the quality have been approved. 
by a government agency mm. that is good for consumption. But however, the challenge with that is that um, you leave your home, you go round trip, you go get the water and come back. You get what I'm saying? Exactly 30 minutes and below. Okay, okay. That is, you are on a basic level of access. But when you spend more than 30 minutes, you are on a limited level. Okay, okay, that's the math. Yes. And no. when you have basic access, that means you leave your home, you get the water, you come back, round trip, mm. less than 30 minutes. And then that water point has a, a based on standard, mm. a certain population that it will manage, that it's supposed to serve. So when the population goes beyond it with one person, Mm. You've become limited as well. Because there will be queues, there will be, you know, some hustles before you get the water and come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then the safely managed is the... The top. The top. That's where everyone is aspiring, is that the water is clean and you get it within your prom- premises where you live. Wow. Yeah. I hope we get there. <laughs> <laughs> so so even the aspiration for us in Nigeria yeah. is that the water sanitation hygiene policy in Nigeria is states that the government will provide basic access. Okay. We are not even aspiring for the the top. Yes. So however, even with that, so many communities never eat, never. Yeah. I've have, have not even gained the access. But however, I, w- I must say this, that over the years, mm. um, before it was not an issue, nobody wants to talk about wash mm. because it's not seen as, as a lot of attention is given to health. Yeah. And then you are not addressing the root cause yeah, of it. most I of the health issues. Uh-huh. So you end up always responding, responding, responding. When, when you, are not, a you are not preventing. Yeah, uh-huh. I get it. So now the government have understood that and a lot of uh, attention is given to that with the help of international donor agencies that is being addressed. So there is a similar uh, ladder criteria Mm. for sanitation, similar ladder criteria for hygiene. So a simple monitoring process to a certain community can tell a researcher this is where this community belongs. Yeah. 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 So for some people, they are at the surface water level and they do, they practice open defecation. Mm. Those are the highest risk. Those are the people at the highest risk. Okay. Yeah. Because they, they, they easily get infected with a contaminated water. All right. Yeah. So oh. this is a lot of discussion for yeah, maybe we'll save least, it for another yes, day. Yes, we've set <laughs> we, we've set a tone for like a fundamentals. Yeah, part yeah. Of, yes. Actually. So with time we can be taking some some details and looking at other civic issues that can give us the right governance in All place. Right. Uh looking at like for instance now it, there uh, the continuous uh continuous voters registration is ongoing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and how many people know about the process so these are some of the opportunities your platform can offer yeah, so yeah. We we'll look yeah thank you so thank you for coming yeah. culture talk yeah. inside the store yeah